Beneath the depths of the Arctic Ocean lies one of Earth's most astonishing geological secrets, a supervolcano hidden in the depths of the Gakkel Ridge. Stretching for nearly 1,800 kilometers, this mid-ocean ridge spread so slowly it was once thought incapable of significant volcanic activity. Yet, recent scientific research has uncovered that over a million years ago, the ridge unleashed an eruption so colossal it carved an 80-kilometer-long caldera into the seafloor and spewed thousands of cubic kilometers of ash and molten rock into the ocean. It was a volcanic explosivity index 8 super eruption, the kind of cataclysm that can alter climates, reshape ecosystems, and leave a geological scar lasting for millennia. How could such an explosion happen in one of the planet's coldest and most remote frontiers? And if it happened once, could it happen again? Also, there is growing concern about the shifting magnetic North Pole, which is moving directly toward the Gackle Ridge. Scientists warn that these geomagnetic changes could increase pressure on the already unstable volcanic system. Today, let's delve into the dangers of the Gackle Ridge, uncovering its geological secrets, its potential for a major eruption, and the consequences that such an event could have on the planet. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Gackle Ridge spans roughly 1,800 kilometers between Greenland and Siberia, placing it among the most remote and least explored sections of Earth's vast mid-ocean ridge network. This ridge represents the slowest spreading segment of Earth's global mid-ocean ridge system, with full spreading rates estimated at less than one centimeter per year. Despite the slow spreading, Gackle Ridge features dramatic landscapes of deep troughs and fractured seafloor, clear signs of intense tectonic forces at work. For years, scientists believed such a sluggish spreading rate meant minimal volcanic activity. In contrast, faster spreading ridges tend to have a steady magma supply and frequent eruptions. Yet, recent research has overturned this view. Detailed sonar mapping and seismic investigations have revealed numerous volcanic formations, some bearing a striking resemblance to the massive calderas seen on land-based volcanoes. Hydrothermal vent fields have also been found, pointing to the existence of magma reservoirs below the seabed. A breakthrough came in 1999, when a cluster of earthquakes measuring between magnitude 4 and 6 was recorded along the ridge. This unusual seismic activity led scientists to suspect a major submarine eruption. Rock samples collected from the seafloor contained high concentrations of volcanic glass, indicating that eruptions had occurred relatively recently. In 2001, a major expedition led by the Arctic Mid-Ocean Ridge Expedition discovered evidence of explosive volcanic activity. Scientists were surprised to find large pyroclastic deposits on the seafloor, indicating that some of the eruptions along the ridge had been highly explosive. This finding was particularly unexpected because most mid-ocean ridge volcanoes produce effusive basaltic lava flows rather than explosive eruptions. The presence of pyroclastic deposits suggests that large amounts of gas were trapped within the magma, leading to sudden and violent eruptions when the pressure was released. This discovery raised new questions about the potential for future explosive eruptions along the Gackle Ridge. Perhaps the most staggering geological revelation in this region is the existence of a true supervolcano at a mid-ocean ridge. In the eastern portion of the ridge lies the Gackle Ridge Caldera, also referred to as the Gackle Caldera, a vast depression uncovered in bathymetric maps and confirmed by seismic and multi-beam echo-sounding data collected in 2014. The caldera measures approximately 80 kilometers in length and 40 kilometers in width, with a depth reaching 1.2 kilometers from rim to floor. Researchers estimate that the eruption responsible for this feature ejected at least 3,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material, placing it squarely in the Volcanic Explosivity Index 8 category akin to the super-eruptions of Yellowstone or Toba. Together, these findings confirm a massive Pleistocene-era eruption with climatic and geological consequences, whose full scope is still under investigation. 
supervolcanoes almost invariably form in subduction zones or within continental hotspots, where large reservoirs of silicic magma accumulate in continental crust. The Gakul Caldera's location, at the termination of an ultra-slow spreading mid-ocean ridge, challenges conventional models of volcanism and magmatic plumbing. Critically, this is the only known example of a supervolcano forming within a mid-ocean ridge rift zone, distinguishing it as a geological rarity. Though the Gakul super eruption occurred over a million years ago and is not active today, the Gakul Ridge remains volcanically alive. The discovery of pyroclastic deposits from recent explosive eruptions confirms ongoing magmatic activity. Moreover, Expeditions have documented unique hydrothermal vent systems, including the Aurora vent field detected in 2014, exhibiting methane emissions and high temperatures suggestive of ultramafic water rock interaction. While the exact likelihood of a major eruption is uncertain, the presence of magma, hydrothermal vents, and ongoing seismic activity suggests that the Gackle Ridge should not be ignored as a potential source of future volcanic activity. The potential hazards, though remote in human terms, are substantial on a geological scale. A future explosive eruption, even smaller than the super eruption, could release massive amounts of carbon dioxide and other gases directly into the ocean column, altering ocean chemistry, impacting marine life, and potentially generating hydrothermal plumes with global reach. There may also be longer-term implications for Arctic climate, ocean circulation, and biogeochemical cycles as large eruptions in oceanic settings can perturb carbon cycling and surface productivity. The unique microbial mats discovered along the ridge point to rich ecosystems that could be sensitive to volcanic and hydrothermal disturbances. Furthermore, the growing interest in Arctic mineral resources and geopolitical stakes in the region may drive increased exploration near Gackel Ridge raising the need for risk assessment and monitoring of volcanic and tectonic hazards. One of the most intriguing and potentially alarming geological phenomena of recent decades is the rapid movement of the magnetic North Pole, which has been shifting from Canada towards Siberia, directly in the direction of the Gakul Ridge. This movement, occurring at an unprecedented rate of about 50 kilometers per year, has puzzled scientists and raised questions about its potential consequences for Earth's geology, including the possibility of influencing volcanic activity. The Earth's magnetic field is generated by the movement of molten iron within the outer core, which in turn interacts with the planet's lithosphere and deep magma systems. Some researchers speculate that changes in the magnetic field could alter the balance of forces acting on magma reservoirs, particularly in geologically sensitive regions such as mid-ocean ridges. The Gakul Ridge, already showing evidence of volcanic activity, lies in the direct path of the migrating magnetic pole, making it a prime candidate for increased geophysical stress. Although no direct correlation between magnetic pole shifts and volcanic eruptions has been scientifically proven, some theorists argue that sudden geomagnetic changes could disrupt existing magma chambers by altering electromagnetic currents and thermal convection patterns deep within the mantle. If the movement of the magnetic north pole is exerting additional stress on the already volatile system beneath the Gackel Ridge, it might contribute to an eventual eruption. While this hypothesis remains speculative, it underscores the need for further research into the interactions between Earth's magnetic field and deep-sea volcanism. If the movement of the magnetic North Pole does play a role in geophysical disturbances, the Gackel Ridge could become a ticking time bomb, with consequences that extend far beyond the Arctic Ocean. If a major eruption were to occur at the Gackel Ridge, the consequences would depend on the scale of the eruption and the amount of gas released. Large-scale volcanic eruptions release significant amounts of sulfur dioxide and other gases into the ocean. These gases can lead to acidification, which can have harmful effects on marine ecosystems, particularly in the already fragile Arctic environment. If an eruption were large enough to release significant amounts of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, 
it could lead to short-term global cooling. Historical eruptions, such as the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo, have demonstrated how volcanic aerosols can temporarily lower global temperatures. An undersea eruption could produce significant amounts of heat, leading to localized melting of Arctic ice. While the overall impact on global ice levels would likely be small, it could disrupt ecosystems that depend on stable ice conditions. Also, the possibility of a tsunami cannot be ruled out. If a major eruption triggered an underwater landslide, it could generate a tsunami that might affect coastal regions of the Arctic. Given the potential risks, further research and monitoring of the Gackle Ridge are essential. Advances in deep-sea exploration technology, including autonomous underwater vehicles and satellite-based monitoring systems, may help scientists gain a better understanding of this hidden volcanic system. Until then, the Gackle Ridge remains one of the most intriguing and potentially hazardous volcanic regions on our planet. What do you think? Could the next major volcanic eruption come from the deep Arctic? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.